So, with Amy Coney Barrett getting on the court, or as I call her, Waffle Coney, um, we're not in a good place. I will not sugarcoat it for you. Others may sugarcoat it for you. I will not do that. Um, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez tweeted the following when she got on the court. She says, expand the court. Republicans do this because they don't believe Dems have the stones to play hardball like they do. And for a long time, they've been correct. But do not let them bully the public into thinking their bulldozing is normal, but a response isn't. There is a legal process for expansion. The Hill says Democratic Representative Ilhan Omar, a fellow squad member, retweeted Ocasio-Cortez's message Monday evening. Remember that Republicans have lost six of the last seven popular votes, but have appointed six of the last nine justices, she wrote. By expanding the court, we will fix this broken system and have the court better represent the values of the American people. Joe Biden already signals he's not going to do this. He said, I'm against term limits. That's one of the things he said. That's one of the things that would theoretically help us in this situation. He says, I'm against term limits. And then what did he say? I'm going to form a committee to look into expanding the court. You know what that means? That means I'm not going to expand the court. Because it's a bipartisan committee also. So you're going to have, I guess, some Democrats say, yeah, it might be a good idea. And then Republicans are going to say, we don't think it's a good idea. And he's going to look at the results and say, oh, okay. So uh, we've done our committee. Thank you very much. So he's not going to do it. They're not going to do it. They're not going to do it. And then also, I love this idea that like right after they take another gigantic loss, it's like they go on Twitter and act like we're they're going to be tough. Oh, expand the court. You could have blocked Amy Coney Barrett. There's a lot of misinformation out there now where where people are saying, oh, there was nothing they could do. Nonsense. They could have procedurally jammed Congress and the Senate. There were very clear, there were memos going around Washington, D.C., laying out in detail, hey, here's what you do. If you do a war powers resolution, for example, if you impeach Bill Barr, Bill Barr for example, if you uh, get into a fight over the debt ceiling and uh, Pelosi leverages a government shutdown, there were a million things they could have done. They could have jammed up the process and made it so that, you're telling me Merrick Garland, Merrick Garland was blocked by Republicans for a year. A year. And the Democrats couldn't block Amy Coney Barrett for like a month? They didn't want to, which leads to the most important point, which I already laid out for you guys. It was This was their strategy. Their strategy was, everybody, shh, let's get Amy Coney Barrett on the court and get her on fast, and then we fundraise off of it and drive people to the polls for Biden off of it. That's why the second it happened, they were all out there on Twitter, vote, 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 vote. Now, here's the problem, guys. I already explained this in, in my other video on this, but it's a 6-3 conservative court. You know what that means? Let's give them everything they say, the Democrats. Oh, the Democrats just want a supermajority. They have the Senate. They have the House. They have the presidency. They pass a $15 minimum wage. They pass, you know, an expansion of Medicaid. Those things will then get challenged in court. It will get to the Supreme Court. It's a 6-3 conservative court, and they will slap down any positive change and say, sorry, it's unconstitutional. What are you going to do? So this whole, this like, vote, 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 vote. Vote, you just made it so that when we do vote, the results are not going to matter as much. How do you not get that? But they do get it, and they don't care. Because all they want is the power. That's what they want. They want to be in control. Now, Ocasio-Cortez, I don't know if she doesn't know this or if she does know this and this is cynical, but I'm kind of floored by this, like, you know, after Democrats lay down, Pelosi did nothing, Schumer did nothing, it was all symbolic, they could have done stuff, they didn't do stuff, everybody lays down in a chalk outline of themselves, and then after, expand the court, and, you know, oh, the Republicans do this because they play hardball and we don't, but we could... You ain't doing Dickie McGee's acts. Nobody's doing dick. Okay, let's be honest about this. And it drives me crazy because it's always like, we got, well, it's the thing we're gonna do. It's never like, let's just do it right now. It's never like, we're gonna play hardball, we're gonna do it now, we're gonna make sure that we get the better outcome. They never do that. It's always like, but I will at some point, maybe in the future, I'll get around to doing some something that's a half measure or whatever. So, listen, man, this is, it's infuriating. By the way, she's right when she says, oh, six of the last seven popular votes were won by Democrats, but Republicans have appointed six of the last nine justices. 
But the fact of the matter is, Biden's already saying he's not going to expand the court. Pelosi and Schumer did nothing. So my question for Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is, assuming you guys keep losing, because you will, at what point do you turn your guns on Pelosi and Schumer and Biden? That's my question. Because to this point, oh, you're not allowed to do it. We got an election coming up and Trump is the worst ever. So therefore, we need party unity or whatever. So when the Democrats lay in a chalk outline of themselves, I have to not attack them because that would be impolite. And that would be me ruining unity or whatever. What's the point of unity if you're always going to lose to the Republicans and we're always going to creep rightward as a country? What's the point? Clearly what you're doing isn't working. So at what point does the ire get turned on Pelosi and Schumer and Biden? Because I got news for you. It already should have been on them. And anybody who's hiding that fact doesn't know the mechanics of what's going on. Or they're simply a tribal partisan hack and they don't care. 